Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm gonna be making a soap that I made when I had my retail shop, but I never filmed it. I think I had a cold at the time and my voice didn't come over very well on camera. I might've filmed about half of it and then deleted it. So I'm back today to recreate it, except this time there's a little bit of a difference. I'm gonna try and change it up a little bit. So in front of me, I've got my fragrance, which is Love Spell from Natural Candle Supply. I have my hot pink liquid dye from Aussie Soap Supplies. I'm going to be using goat's milk soap for the white, clear for the pink. Down here I have two heart molds. These will be created first and once they set then I'll make the second parts. These molds come apart. They're very flexible and they're easy to use. Each one is about 30 centimeters long but because the loaf is actually less than that we chop a little bit off. So as you can see the loaf goes to about there and we chop that part off. So let's get started. Okay, so to have these hearts, we need them to be standing up. And because they are quite sort of flexible, they'll bend if they're not standing up straight. So I've got this tiny little box, some rubber bands, and I've got three going down the side. And all I do, put the mold in the rubber band and just equal them out so they're, uh, they're equally spread. And there you go. It's now flat up against the, the side of this box. And when I go to pour it, it's not gonna bend the actual mold, which would bend the soap as well. So now it's straight, I just do the other side and then I pour into them. Okay, so both my hearts have now finished. So I wrapped them up a little over an hour ago and now I'm gonna unwrap them and cut them. Okay, so at this stage, I'm only gonna be doing the pink with the white heart. Okay, so this now has to fit inside here and I'm gonna have to cut it because as you can see, it's way too long so i'm just going to put that there and give it a little mark where i think it should be cut it's always better to cut it a little bit too long than too short so it just needs a little bit more off that perfect as you can see that now fits perfectly inside there now the great part is the bits that I've cut back off, I can put back in to the pouring pot to remelt back down. What I'm also going to do is get this one out now and put it next to this one so I know that they're both exactly the same size. Okay, so as you can see, they are now perfectly the exact same size. So when I go to put them in the loaf, they'll fit equally on both top and the bottom. So each of these hearts weigh roughly 115 grams. Okay, so to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be doing here, and I have never done this before, uh, I've been told to leave it in the mold, keep pouring, don't take it out of the mold. But if you've seen my videos, you know I'm trying to go against the grain and test theories. Here's where it gets a little weird. I'm gonna pour a tiny bit in the bottom here of pink. I'm then gonna wait until that sets. I'm gonna add my white heart, and then I'm gonna tip the rest of the pink in which will fill it up about halfway. Once that sets, I'm then gonna take it out of the mold, turn it upside down, and then pour a little bit of goat's milk in and add the pink heart and then the rest of the white. I'm actually taking it out of the mold and rejoining them. I don't, I've never seen tested before, so this is a first for me. If it fails, then I'll melt it down and try something else, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. So I'm just melting down the clear base, which is pink, and I'll be back in a minute to pour the first layer. Now, my base is ready, and it doesn't need to have a certain temperature because it's the bottom base, and I'm gonna wait for it to set anyway. It's currently sitting on about 150 degrees, which is quite hot, but because I'm only gonna be pouring a small amount into the bottom, it should set pretty quickly. So I've got it on scales here because when I reverse it and do the white on the other side, uh, I want to be able to have equal portions from heart to heart. So I've sprayed this clear base, which has got bright pink in it, and now I'm going to pour. So I'm just going to spray that. So it worked out to be roughly 90 grams is in the bottom. So when I flip it around, like I said before, I'll pour 90 grams of goat's milk and that way the heart on this side will be equal to the heart on the other side. This is the problem that I had before was I didn't calculate it properly because I'd never done it before. And I just threw the hearts in where I think they would join. And one was really close to the pink white line and one was really far away. 
and it looked kind of odd. So I want to get it right this time. So once this sets, I'm going to come back, put the white heart in there and pour the rest. Wait for that to set and then take it out and do it the other side. Okay, so my base is hit about 123 degrees. I'm now going to spray this white heart. So I'm going to spray the, uh, the mold as well because I want it to stick. I'm going to pour a little bit in the bottom here because I need the heart to stick to it. Okay, we've already sprayed the heart. Okay, and it goes in upside down, the two hearts at the bottom. And I gotta make sure that I get it right in the center, unlike what I just did. Gonna spray that or the rest of this in. Spray that. Okay, so that's half the loaf. Once that sets, it's got a fully set, so I can actually take it out. And then um, I'll do the other side, which is the rest of here. Okay, so I think it's set now, but here's my dilemma. If I pop this out and it's too warm, it's gonna ooze, and I'm gonna have to start either again or try a different design. Uh, and if it's too cold, it's not gonna bond with the other one. So I'm hoping that this is the right temperature and I gotta be pretty careful with this too. Remember, this is only half a loaf. So that's that way up. It was that way. Now I've turned it around and I'm putting it back in the loaf. Thank God that worked. So now here's the, the second part of the problem is, will this now stick to this base? So uh, all I can do is try and, and see what happens. Melt some goat's milk soap down, you pour a little bit in, put the hard in and pour the rest. And then I'll wait till tomorrow to, to cut it up. Okay, so as before, I've tipped this up. My base is now ready. My goat's milk soap is ready. It's 143 degrees. Uh, Fahrenheit and the reason why I'm going to pour it in right now at that temperature is that I really want it to bond with this because I don't think it's going to stick if it's at a colder temperature. Hopefully I'll just spray the top of this. So I'm looking to pour exactly the same amount as I did last time which was 90 grams. So I've sprayed both of them. Okay, spray that. Okay, so what I saw when I was pouring it in there, it was definitely way too hot. I can see the pink starting to come through now, but that's fine because we're gonna let this set and then we're gonna put the pink heart in that we've got and then it will be around a cooler temperature with the rest of the base that's in left in here. Okay, so my white base has just hit 128, which is 53 Celsius. Spray in the loaf with rubbing alcohol and I'm also gonna spray the heart. So we're going to pour a little bit in here and then we're going to put the heart in. Beautiful. Okay, spray the heart and pour the rest in. Perfect calculations, right to the top. That was a really big test for me because it's taken a good four hours in total. I wouldn't want to do this constantly on a, on a regular basis, this particular design, because it just takes up so much time. Unless of course, I mean, these loaves are only about 30 centimeters long, but if I had it and maybe the loaf was, you know, three times longer than that and they were custom made or something, then it'd probably be worth it. As it stands, this is a really long time to make just one loaf. I'll be back in the morning to unmold this. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm gonna unmold this love spell. But before I do, I'm hoping that this would actually work. So let's have a little look. Okay. Okay, so there you can see my hearts. One at the top, one at the bottom. It looks pretty good. The, um, because I turned the loaf upside down, this is the first one I did. The second one is sort of dripped down the side because there was a gap between the wall, but this side's connected all right, but I can feel that there is definitely a, a layer there in some places anyway. Um, apart from that, it looks all right. I guess we really need to cut it up and find out. I'll just clean this bit up and then I'll start cutting.
All right, so we finally got there. This has been a mammoth of a test, I can tell you right now. I'm very pleased with how it's turned out. The hearts are perfectly even. They're a little bit off. You can tell with this one, it's the white is a little bit further that way to the left. Um, but generally, um, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. There is a couple of little tiny bubbles just above the heart. So I'm extremely impressed how this turns out. There is something that I've just spotted, and that is this one right here at the front. And you probably can't see it. I'll see if I can. So do you see that little area there where the red hits the white? Well, there is actually a, a like a lump. So you can tell that when you put the loaf back in uh, to the mold, it's not exactly going to be vertical, so it's not going to continue straight up. So you're going to have a little bit of unevenness when you do this. I probably won't do this one again, uh, this particular way. I might find another way of doing it. But it's still very interesting because it opens the possibility of so many other of ways that you could do things. So yeah, like I said before, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. This is scented with Love Spell. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.